Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're doing pretty well. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for a while, just trying to uh, readjust to the changes in my life that the Lord's been doing, but um, one thing that I was praying on was meeting people, um, like-minded people where I am, so I'd have fellowship with with others, and um, the Lord has led me to a uh, woman's Bible study, and um, it's been it's been pretty good. I've learned a lot just by some of the questions that we have been given throughout the series. Um, I kind of had a revelation last night, and I just wanted to share it because it was just like so powerful. Um, it's kind of like you know things, but then the Lord reveals something else to you and it's on a deeper level. And that's kind of what happened to me last night. So we'd been studying Ephesians 2 and um, I was in um, the last part of the chapter. So I'm just going to, I'm going to read out the new, King, or I'm sorry, the King James, um, Ephesians 2. And I'm going to start like at 19, verses 19 through 22. It says, Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together, groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an inhabitation of God through the Spirit. Like, I always, I mean, I've since I've given my life to Christ, I have the Holy Spirit within me. But when I read this verse last night, especially verse 22, when he says, they are builded for a habitation of God through the Spirit. It was just like I had this epiphany that it's actually, it's the living God is dwelling within me. And everything that I do should be reflecting him. And so the Lord basically, like, I know I was created for him. He's told me this, but like last night, he really drove it home for me. It wasn't an accident that I am here in this time in my life, this time in the, the world, this time in history, God chose me. He chose to create me and put me right here, right now, to use me as a vessel to reach those who are lost and in darkness. And I've, like, I've always, I've always realized that, like, I've realized it, but the level, and I don't even know if I can even explain I just realized last night, nothing, like, it's not about me. It's never been about me. All of the things that I tried to hold on to and the things that I thought I deserved or the things that I, you know, I fought so hard to keep control of or what I, it's just, I realized it was all in vain because there was one reason that I was created and it goes deeper than having a relationship with the living God. But it's, I was created at this time to be his hands and his feet and his mouthpiece and for him to work through me to reach people. Even living in my house with my husband and his son, I realized last night God chose 
me to reach these two that are in darkness. He chose me to be the one to come into this house and to be the vessel to shine the light. And every time I struggle with being Christ-like around them, every time I act out in my flesh, I'm completely going against the purpose that I'm here for. And it just blew me away last night on how the Lord revealed the deeper understanding of why I'm here. And then he told me last night as I started to understand, I'm not here for me at all. Like There's nothing, there should be nothing of me here. I'm a, a sacrifice, I'm a sacrificial lamb for him to be using me to reach two people that are so far off the path that he wants them back. And that's why I'm here. Not only the people in my home, but all the people that I'm going to encounter outside of my home. So it was never about me. And the Lord said, now you understand. So I just wanted to share that. Like, we should be dying to ourselves. Dying to our fleshly needs, our fleshly desires, and the things that... um, that we think is important because it has nothing to do with us. And we we are not here and we are not doing the things that we're doing and we are not around the people that we are around by choice or by accident. It was divinely planned by God. So I don't know. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully somebody else out there maybe will get a revelation through that I just wanted to share it with you um, but Satan has brought much deception to God's creation to his people letting them think that there's even a slight inkling um, of about us there's nothing it, there's not a, a stitch about me I am nothing absolutely nothing never will be anything I am only righteous and holy with Jesus inside of me. So I need to be (laughs) no more Susan and all Jesus. So I'm going to really work on trying to change and allow him access into my life and my heart more to change what this world made me think I am. I just realized As much as I've progressed, I'm still nowhere near where God wants me. Nowhere near where I need to be so I can be used mightily for his kingdom. So I'm working on dying to myself so he can live through me fully and reach as many children as he can. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope it blesses someone. Um, But uh, keep looking up. Because the Lord is going to come for us. And um, and I do want to remind everybody that the Lord has asked me to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. All I know is that's what he's asked me to do. So I'm going to proclaim that. And um, you know, now is the time for us to draw close to the Lord and to allow him to prepare us for what is coming Um, So we can be ready on all levels and live spiritually through him instead of living in our flesh. So God bless you all. If you don't know Jesus today, invite him into your life, invite him into your heart. It will be the best decision that you have ever made. Take care, everybody. God bless.